We were asked yesterday about the number of officers that responded. We are still compiling uh, the total number of officers that responded here at 11 o'clock when the initial call of the shooting went out. Our rough count right now is about 300 officers from local, county, uh, state, and federal agencies that responded for the initial active shooter component of this and helped deal with the crime scene here. Many of those assets also moved and were part of the investigation and the officer involved shooting that followed. Here at the scene at the Inland Regional Center, what we have total is we believe the suspects, when they entered, fired somewhere between 65 and 75 rounds uh, from their rifles at the scene. We did locate the one uh, pipe bomb, there was actually three pipe bombs combined into one that had a remote control car type remote control device that, that appears to have not have worked in this case. There were also four high capacity uh, 223 rifle magazines that were dropped by the suspects and left in there as, as evidence that have been recovered. I can confirm that the suspects were wearing the, uh, the black style tactical gear that we talked about yesterday. They were not wearing ballistic um, vest, um, bulletproof vest. What they did have and what people may have confused is they had a uh, tactical style vest that held equipment and magazines and ammunition Low and that sort of gear. stuff. Sorry? Yeah, load bearing gear. On the officer involved shooting that took place uh, a couple of hours after the incident, we talked yesterday about how that came to be, how we ended up at that point in the investigation and what we were following up on. On the officer involved shooting that occurred, we had seven police agencies that were involved in that shooting, including our department, the sheriff's department. I think we had 14 of our police officers involved. Uh, and then there were various other agencies that were all part of a of some of the local task force that had come to assist in the initial response. Of the seven agencies involved, we had 23 officers that were actually fired their weapons at the suspects. Law enforcement fired approximately 380 rounds at the suspects. Both of them were killed here at the scene. The suspects are believed to have fired about 76 rifle rounds at the officers at the termination of the pursuit. How many? 76 is our number that we have right now. Uh, however, on them, uh, on their person, on their body, and in the vehicle, they had over 1,400 223 caliber rounds uh, that were available to them, and they had over 209 millimeter rounds on their persons as well. 209 millimeter rounds. We talked about yesterday they had the two 223 assault style weapons, uh, rifles, and they had 9 millimeter pistols with them. You said 1,400 on the 223? 1,400 on the 1,400 223 rounds. 209 millimeter rounds. On their person, 200. On their person, yes. On their person or immediately in the vehicle around and available to them. Let me, let me get to a few others. We had two officers that were injured in that incident. One of them was a Samuel police officer that sustained a gunshot wound to his left leg. He was taken to a local hospital last night. Uh, he is probably going to be released this morning if he has not already been released. His injuries are not life threatening. I did visit with him in the hospital last night. He's in good spirits. We also, uh, as of this morning, learned that there was a second deputy uh, that was also injured in the incident, uh, sustained some cuts to his leg that we believe probably came from broken glass or shrapnel. We're not exactly sure, but two officers total were injured in that exchange. The house in Redlands that became uh, part of the focus of this investigation yesterday. I will confirm that the search that took place uh, revealed that there were 12 uh, pipe bomb type devices found in that uh, in that house or in the garage to that house. There were also hundreds of tools, many of which could be used to uh, construct IEDs or, or pipe bombs. And in addition to that, they had other material to have, have produced some additional um, bombs as well. There were another 2,000 9 millimeter rounds found at that house. Over 2,500 223 rounds that were found at that house. And then there were 2,500, and there were additional uh, several hundred 22 long rifle rounds that were found there.